All right, y'all, it's happening finally. Yay! Let's see what they look like in the field. So, um, if you've been with me for a little while, you know that I just decided, well, not just, but I decided to move my flower field over into this bigger field. Um, and I'm going to do raised beds. All right. And I'm using my phone. My battery's dead on my big camera. So bear with me. All right. So it's going to lay out here. All the way down. Down there is the dirt. You can see that's covered. It's going to lay out. This is three raised beds. And then... We'll do six in each row for right now. Um, <laughs> truthfully, I'd be happy just to get these three done and at least get some of my stuff in. But I wanted I wanted them to be manageable. At first, I was going to do those 60-foot runs. Yeah, it's just overwhelming. So these are right at 30. Um, so Mr. Daydream has these cut. Uh, Hopefully he'll get these finished today or tomorrow. At least the three that go here. So yeah, I am like really excited. Um, I would have liked to have had them done sooner, but you know, it's just life at this point. Um, but, ah, sorry, I got a little distracted. I was looking, I was watching some birds over there. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. I have kicked off the Manor Mercantile. That was something else I really wanted to do. Um, I've talked about that um, from a diversifying just some revenue streams. And so um, I'm going to do put my handcrafted um, items there. So, God, there's just so much work to do behind the scenes. Um, the admin stuff, the marketing, uh, creating Facebook pages. I need to get another website up and running, but it's all good, right? So, um, I've been a little bit quiet here just because it's just, I, I feel like I'm just running, but thankfully I am off this week, so uh, I am planning to get a whole lot done. Okay, the other thing I wanted to check on, I threw down some clover seed um, over here by the chickens where we move the um, coop. And I haven't seen it. I, I don't even know if it's grown. I don't know. So we're going to go check it out. Well, I feel like some of this green is the cover crop. I just had a big bag of uh, crimson clover that I threw. I just scattered. So I'm hoping that some, this is some of it. Oh, well. So we actually tilled all of this up. Well, dissed it up. So this is where the flowers were. It's where the vegetable garden needs to be. So still got stuff on my back porch. So I do feel much more confident um, about how I'm going to lay out my beds. I took some time and uh, really thought about what I wanted to plant with what. So I do feel better about that. Um... I did decide two things. I'm going to use one bed uh, to start perennials in, and that's just going to be my perennial bed. And then I'm going to try something a little different because I should have some extra beds to start off with. So I am truly thinking I'm going to use one of those beds, and that's going to be my dried flowers. So I'm just going to plant what all I want to dry there and then just leave them. And that's what I will harvest from to cut. So... Uh, and dry for next year. That's kind of what's going through my head. Okay, so while I'm in the stem shed, I'm going to show you real quick what I've been working on um, for the Manor Markintail. So I've said this before, I need a creative outlet. Um, it is hard for me when I don't have that place. So this has been so much fun for me. I'm working with a medium that I really like. Um, so hold on and I'll show you. All right, so I had to flip you around real quick. Ooh, I do not like filming with, with my phone. I have gotten so used um, used to my uh, Canon 
this is just super duper awkward for me. So, um, I am working with concrete and look at these valet trays I am making. Y'all, and I have sold so many of them. It is crazy. In fact, I'm in here today because I've got um, three big orders that I've got to get done over the next few weeks. So, getting those done. This is um, all poured into concrete, into a mold. Uh, this, I'm in love with these. These, This is a propagation station. It actually has a test tube that um, you put in. So I have those. Uh, these I am working on. This is, I just got this black pigment in and I am liking it. So these can be used for several things. I could sit on a desk um, to catch, the, you know, pencils, pens, whatever. Um, or the other ones that I make actually have a hole in the bottom along with, hold on, let me reach the, okay, with a bottom. And so they make... A planner and I have succulents that I've grown here on the farm so I can put succulents in them so I'm doing these not in the black but in some brighter color colors I have a corporate order um, for uh, someone who works with a lot of women and so I'm gonna do these in some brighter colors and we're gonna make planters and I'm gonna do those with the succulents. so same for the trays I have um, this is this is my more masculine tray so i'm going to do some in uh some lighter colors which i have but yeah it has been um i've been a little busy all right i feel like i'm just jumping around in this video so i apologize this was a spur of the moment i grabbed my phone and it's like let's just have a quick conversation and an update um so yeah i have been a little bit busy trying to get this done but i also sat down with my calendar because i have so many ideas but I can't wait to the last minute to do them. So I had to break my year up into quarters. And I decided in those quarters what I would be working on. So like in that January to March space, um, I'm going to get my gourds done. So I have those. I don't know if you can see them over here. They're in a big box right there. Um, so I want to make some birdhouses out of those, some planters out of those. So I'm going to work on those so they'll be ready for spring. Um... I want to do some other some other things in the spring too, um, some fairy houses with some succulents. So I have a lot of stuff. I've just got to get better at mapping it out. Again, it's putting those systems into place. So, um, well, I'm glad you hung in there with me today, Lord. I'm looking. God, maybe this is why I don't like to use my phone. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Well, no, y'all not here for the cuteness that I am. <sighs> All right. Deep breath. I got to get back to work, but I appreciate you tuning in just to see what's up here on Daydream Manor Farm. So hopefully in the next week or so, I'll be back with another update. Maybe it'll be me actually putting stuff in the ground. Fingers crossed. Ciao.